Rocker James Kotak passed away last week. The famous drummer who worked with the Scorpions and Kingdom Come is from the bluegrass. WHAS 11 Shirlene Shanklin sat down with some of his friends who all know his legacy will live on through his music. He had this incredible gift of music. Being able to figure out stuff and his skill set as a drummer. James Kotak was an international star but he had major influence in his hometown of Louisville. Yeah. Yeah, and this was, this was a tattoo on his back. Right, he had this tattooed on his back. When he would do his drum solo, he'd stand up, he had two bass drums, he would stand up on his bass drums and turn around, and, he, and people would see that. And there was a lot of Scorpion fans that had that same tattoo tattooed on their back. I stopped by Mercurio's Music and Resto Bar. As a teen, Kotak played at businesses in this area. We're only a few yards away from where I met James at the Hartwood Tavern. And he was playing drums. He was 16 or 17 years old. I knew he was a different. I knew he was a star. And he was such a great player. And although he's really known, he's internationally known as a hard rock drummer and fabulous hard rock drummer, James could play anything. Kotak was married to rock legend Tommy Lee's sister, Athena. Their blended family consisted of two sons and a daughter, Matthew, Mouse, and Toby. Friends in the music industry says Kotak set the standard. Every city has their like top guys or top two guys. Back in the 80s, there was no question, James was the top dog. Yeah, no question. James, uh, as a rock drummer to me, it, it, he, you know, that, that record is very Led Zeppelin-y feeling, right. but every bit of it is James playing drums. Like, if I listen to it, it's like, that's James. If I, if I could see James doing that. He was a humble man. He loved his family. He was dedicated to his music, and he was dedicated to all of his friends. I'm Shirley Shanklin for WHAS 11 News on your side. There will be a visitation on Wednesday, January 17th from 2 to 7 at Ratterman and Sons. That's at 3800 Bardstown Road, where there will be a time for sharing of memories. In lieu of flowers, they would love to help the Wounded Warriors, Murph Musicians Emergency Relief Fund, Alley Cat Advocates, or the Isaiah House Olivia Center in his memory.